and hello and welcome to yet another one of my clean videos and as you can see I am sitting in my kitchen at the moment but that video is for another time and what products I use but this one I am talking about what to clean out your washing machine your windows and your oven with so let's have a look and see what we have. Okay. <coughs> so, these are the products that I use. This, uh, what's it? Dettol Wash Machine Cleaner. You can pretty much get that anywhere. And it does sort of have the instructions, uh, where is it, uh, on the back, the print is quite small, but it does recommend that you use this every two months on an empty machine, and it does state to put a 250 milliliter dosage at 60 degree wash in your machine and you can actually use this stuff to clean out the wash machine wash machine drawer as well I only use this once a month put one cap full at obviously a 60 degree wash and it cleans out the machine obviously when it's empty so you can pretty much buy that anywhere which is pretty cool. Uh, uh, I'm not too sure how much it is, but I think it's only a couple of pounds, depending on where you buy it from. So that's that. This one is the Oven Mate Oven Cleaning Kit. Well, this actually works pretty well. Again, you know, you've got the instructions on the side, before and after picture of, obviously, somebody's oven. This one I got from Lakeland. There's one in Westfield that's by me. It's called Oven Mate. Obviously, it's quite pricey, but you can get other brands of oven cleaning stuff and it's quite simple to use you can just pour it straight onto the inside of your oven a cold oven may I add and I obviously brush it in getting into all the nooks and crannies again it is quite pricey depending on I think what brand you get but for for me, this one works pretty well, it's pretty decent, and uh, obviously it says that it comes with the gel, a brush, and gloves, like I said, uh, I don't know how it works on other ovens, but I would probably check, you know, the instructional use before you buy it's always best to you know, just to double check everything before you buy it you know for safe use and lastly this is what I clean my windows with this is window lean you know uh, spray and obviously this one is relatively cheap and I got this in my local supermarket for I think like £2 and it's quite easy to use there's obviously no instructional use just spray it on the windows wipe and what I tend to use is scrunched up newspaper so you know just to get all the smears out so that works pretty well for me but I will give you I will give you a couple of you know tips that 
I found on the internet. If you know these products are a little bit expensive for you to use, or you can you know, obviously make up your own with the oven cleaner. I think it's baking soda and I think lemon lemon juice lemon and you can pour that directly onto your oven the lemon and the, uh, the baking soda reacts together and you know that's quite a nice degrees and the lemon does feel quite nice with the windows you can put in you know some what mix together some white vinegar not white wine vinegar not malt vinegar white vinegar with some water maybe use warm water, warm water might work better together in a spray bottle spray on your windows and use it you know with the scratched up newspaper works just as well and you know it's a very nice degreaser because the vinegar you know is very good for smears on your windows and again with the washing machine cleaner just put a cup full of white vinegar in your machine drum and run it through without any clothes on a 60 degree heat let's run it through as normal and get rid of all the soap gunge and that and it comes out nice and clean all you have to do is wipe it over afterwards and it comes out quite nice quite nice and clean but they're the products that I use let's uh, have another look at them the Dettol washing machine cleaner, the Lakeland oven mate oven cleaning kit, and the window lane window spray. And like I said before, please check before you use these, no for safe use, and please use a good handy, you know, washer washcloth and gloves and please keep them separate from any washcloths that you use for your bathroom or toilet or any other washcloths that you use around your house to prevent cross-contamination. Peace.